we always take time to pray as a church family during our Sunday service. And today I have the privilege of leading those prayers. Please make them yours as well, adding your thoughts and requests as we bow before our God. Let's all pray. Father in heaven, we freely admit that, like John the Baptist, we also are not fit to clean our Lord Jesus' shoes. And yet we sit here amazed by the truth that he has redeemed us, has acknowledged us as his brothers and sisters, and has gifted us a life with you that will never end. We are keenly aware of our own shortcomings, and so we pray that you will change us and renew us by the power of your Holy Spirit, so that we will faithfully represent Christ Jesus our Lord to everyone in every circumstance. We are your people, and we want to bring joy to your heart, so please take us and use us as you see fit to build your kingdom on earth. We're so thankful for all your blessing on this church for many years now, and we look forward with hope, anticipating what you have in store for us. Thank you in advance for the person you have already chosen to become our new minister in Kirkpatrick. We pray that as you guide us through the whole process of identifying and calling Christoph's replacement, that we will be quick to recognise the leading and prompting of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the willingness of Robert to assist us through this period of vacancy. May he personally be blessed in the year that lies ahead of us. Thank you, Father, for the, the rapid development and distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. May they prove to be an effective weapon in the war against this dreadful pandemic. Thank you for all those who are bravely and selflessly toiling in the health service to care for victims of the virus and for all who are struggling with poor health. Protect them from illness, guard them from fatigue, and give them the joy of seeing their efforts being successful and bringing healing to the suffering. We pause to lift up the Aiken family to you. Father, have mercy on Rachel, Al and little Lena, we pray. May Lena be protected from infection and go stronger every day. Heal her, Lord. That's our prayer. May Rachel and Al be given added strength, much needed rest and total confidence in your unfailing love for them all. Our thoughts are also with George, Ronnie and Brian. As they await treatment or are recovering from operations, grant them healing, strength and peace of mind, we pray. We've heard much this week about lockdown regulations, problems with movement of food and goods across the Irish Sea, about on again, off again AQE tests, about civil unrest in Washington. These events can cloud our minds and cause us all sorts of anxiety. They spoil our appreciation of how you have continually blessed us. Lord, as we pray for your intervention to bring about an end to the pandemic, the restoration of free-flowing trade, real peace of mind and a sense of security for our year seven kids, and the end of strife and a peaceful transition of the presidency in the United States, Help us to hold fast to the knowledge that you are in control of everything. You are the everlasting God, the fount of all true wisdom, our all-powerful, compassionate, infinitely patient Father in heaven. So we leave all these requests with you and simply ask that you will answer according to your great wisdom and love for the sake of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.